St Margaret's Church has always taken an active interest in issues of social justice and firmly believe that the church has a role in speaking up for those without voices, uh, whether that's locally or nationally. And so that's why we got involved uh, in the issues that were highlighted out of an Ofsted report at Rainsbrook STC. And what was it that Ofsted saw there that they were really displeased about? So Ofsted were very concerned about the treatment and welfare of children, in particular the amount of times they had been locked up in solitary confinement in their bedrooms. And that's why we spoke out with urgency. Six months um, is a long time for the government to take this action, but it should be noted that this action is significant. Uh, what's interesting is MTC Novo's response by robustly challenging the decision um, and also the government uh, being in, it would seem, a quandary on what to do contractually, uh, which highlights the issues which are complex of using private companies to look after vulnerable children. So what happens to these vulnerable children now? So according to the Ministry of Justice website, it would seem as though they're going to be dispersed uh, within the next few days, potentially, uh, into secure children's homes and the one final remaining secure training centre, which is in Milton Keynes. Um, there is a possibility that some of the older children may well end up in young offenders institutes, which have a track record of also being poor when it comes to care.